بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو قرآن ٹیوٹنگ ڈاٹ کام ان شاء اللہ ان اور ٹوڈیز کلاس وی ول لرن سورت التکاثر وتھ دا فل روز اف تجوید سورت التکاثر از ون اف دا مکی سورہ اینڈ سورت التکاثر ہیز ایٹ ورسز اوکے لیٹس سٹارٹ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بٹن between meem and ta there is two letter but no movement on these two letter so it's a silent letter alha ko mutakathur if we have alif and the, there is no movement on alif then we will check at the letter before of alif if the previous letter of alif has fatha on it then alif will be alif madda like that and whenever alif madda come on any point then we need to do prolong equal to one alif, uh, one alif. we can say alif madda and standing fatha are equal al ha ko mutakathur will do stay on this ra and uh, uh, will put uh, the sukun instead of this zamma because we are doing stay al ha ko mutakathur hatta how will we pronounce from our middle of the throat and then uh, we'll do prolong this ta because it has standing fatha i already discussed because i already discussed uh, letter has standing fatha then we'll do prolong zur to mul is very important rule there are seven bold letter ra is not one of them but uh, if ra has any movement on it then ra will be bold if ra has any movement below it then ra will be light But if Ra has Sakun on it or Shad on it, then we'll check out the letter before. If the previous letter is bold, then Ra will be bold. If the previous letter is light, then we'll, uh, letter will be, uh, then Ra will be light. We'll also check if the previous letter has Fatha or any movement upon it, then Ra will be bold. Otherwise, if there is any movement below it, then Ra will be light. So here is a, um, uh, there is a movement upon it, so this Ra will be bold. So, tumul maqabir qaf is also one of the bold letter make sure when you will be pronounce any bold letter you will uh, you will pronounce that letter with the heavy and strong voice maqabir again this alif uh, is one of the alif madda bir will do stay that's why we don't need to read this fatha which is on the ra we'll put in sukun instead of them maqabir we'll take a single breath kalla this again there is alif madda sawfa if we have waw sakin and the letter before waw sakin has fatha then waw will be waw lean so whenever any lean letter come then you don't need to do prolong sawfa is a waw madda uh, is a waw lean we don't need to do prolong ta'lamu and this waw has uh, as uh, has a sakun but letter before of uh, waw sakin has zamma So uh, before there was fatha, but now there is a zamma. If the previous letter of vowel sakin has zamma on it, then we need to do prolong. It's called vowel madha. Ta alamun. We'll put, we'll do stay. That's why we'll uh, skip this movement and we'll merge vowel noon with the vowel noon with the vowel. So we'll need to do gunna here because uh, we must need to do gunna and mim mushadid or noon mushadid. Here is a mim mushadid. If mim has shad on it, it's called mim mushadid. ثم كلا do prolong this كلا equal to one alif because once again this is one one of the alif mother سوف again there is a vowel in تعلمون and this vowel is one of the vowel mother كلا this one is كلا is one of the alif mother لو this vowel is vowel in تعلمون this vowel is vowel mother will do prolong علم اليقين Of is also one of the bold letter and yaqeen here is a yaimadda 
I already discussed alif madda, waw madda, and now it's turn, now turn uh, is ya madda. Basically, we have three alif madda letters: alif madda, waw madda, and ya madda. I already discussed alif madda. I already explained waw madda. Now, inshallah, I will explain uh, ya madda. If we have ya sakin, uh, and the letter before of ya sakin has kasra below it, is called ya madda. Right. So, ilm al yaqeen, and we also need to do prolong ya madda equal to one alif. Let Let's move on the next line. La tarawun al jahim. I can see uh, there is a movement on the ra. Ra will be bold. La tarawun al. I already explained here. If uh, there is noon mushaddad or mi mushaddad, then we must need to do gunna. Gunna mean will take our voice complete in our no, in our in in our note. لا ترون الجحيم. Again, here's the ya madda. ثم we'll do gunna here. لا ترون. Again, the ra is one of the bold letter. We'll uh, read boldly. لا ترون ها نون is uh, نون مشدد. We'll do gunna here. لا ترون ها alif is one of the alif madda. عين ال. This ya is ya lean. لا يقين. Then off is uh, one of the Bold letter, and uh, there is also ya yeah, madda. We need to do prolong. So um, we'll do gunna once again. La tus alunna. We'll do gunna once again because it has uh, shad on it. Yawma. This wow is one of the vowlin. Yawma idin. If any throttle letters come after the noon sakin or tarween, then we don't need to to take our voice partially or completely into our nose. So here is ayn. Ayn is one of the throttle letter. So throttle letter means we will pronounce uh, these letter uh, from our throat. So uh, here is the ayn. After the tanween, this is the tanween. So we don't need to do gunna or ikhfa here. Yawma idhin ayn will do izhar. It's called izhar. Yawma idhin ayn will be connect this noon with the second noon because uh, it has shad on it. Ayn will also do gunna here. This was Surah Al-Takasur. Let me read whole of the Surah Al-Takasur. Al-Hakum Al-Takasur Hatta Zurtum Al-Maqabir Kalla Sawfa Ta'lamun ثُمَّ كَلَّا سَوْفَ تَعْلَمُونَ كَلَّا لَوْ تَعْلَمُونَ عِلْمَ الْيَقِينَ لَتَرَوُنَّ الْجَحِيمَ ثُمَّ لَتَرَوُنَّهَا عَيْنَ الْيَقِينَ ثم لا تسألن يوم إذ عن النعيم صدق الله العظيم. Well, this was Surah Al-Takasur. Inshallah, I will continue in our next class with the new surah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.